channel so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a beautiful realistic bee so uh, for this I'm taking a pencil I have a sketchbook my sketchbook eraser in case just in case and you could take a outline marker to just outline it or you could start drawing with it first but I am a little messy at first so I'm going to be using this light pencil then I'm going to be darkening it with this dark pencil 4B and this is HB pencil so now let's get started to the so drawing. first we are going to draw the head which I'm is just know. like a rainbow so uh, next after this we can uh, we, we are going to draw uh, fur uh, like a uh, fur then we will draw the body so uh, let's draw the fur uh, you should connect both the edges it should be uh, in circle so I will show you guys how to do it now let's connect it uh, the rainbow line is a head it's uh, the top so let's continue so here I attached it so now so here I have drawn uh, the fur I guess you can see so now uh, we can move on to the next part which is the whole body so we'll do it step by step together so if i go to sponge fast you can just um pause the video so and here just, uh, no we are done with added, our so you can fur just do and head so, so next continue. we are going to draw the body so let's draw it it should be exactly like an oval but not another end curve like this uh, you should be careful at both ends it's like this and uh, next we will dark it and now we have to draw the eyes uh, there are our two eyes of a bee <laughs> next we are going to draw the antenna uh, so here we are drawing like this just draw like a peacock feather and to the top like this both uh, antennas should be there like this oh uh, I made a mistake so let's try here this is the right position so last time I drew it <laughs> straight now we are going to draw the basic black B stripes so it's parallel <laughs> uh, I love this part because uh, it is so uh, relaxing to draw a uh, half curve uh, circle the thing I am not sure what you call it so parallel curve so here I'm drawing it. Oh, in this I'm making so much mistakes. I'm erasing and erasing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, so here we are the parallel lines. So next we are going to color it. So coloring uh, is easy. So now uh, we have, have to color each stripe body. like this. So the next so thing I'm going uh, to do now is we can. I'm going uh, to shade start the coloring. You can use parts. an outline marker. I'm so using this I'm pencil. It's it dark, dark, so uh, uh, I like it. I will be using this matter. for now. I'll uh, use oil pastels at the end. So let's get into it have now. We usually have that pattern. We see it every time. So now let's jump into that part. So I have done this uh, black. Black so here the for the hand so also, I'm the gonna hands. be doing yes, uh, just like the, the antenna. So we'll do the first. It's so hand. wonderful to say that. 
so just like that we will draw two half oval ovals then put another on top but next we are going to do some more we should draw some circles three circles on each side uh, uh, everyone knows that insects have a uh, six legs so here I'm drawing the this uh, end uh, place where it uh, gets like our foot so uh, to draw this this is just like drawing a heart then uh, putting a thought on it on the top so uh, now I'll dra uh, darken it up let's do it so here we go next we are going to draw the, the leg which comes on the middle so not the wings it's the leg which comes on the middle so like this just like the hands we are drawing this it's all so easy you can say easy next uh, we'll draw some more lines not three just five or six lines then do the heart heart with a with a stick and oh my god uh, okay that okay and now we'll draw the same and the other end when you draw these things make sure uh, that uh, you don't have a pattern for it just do it whatever because uh, these things aren't made exactly so these are natural right uh, so because they are natural there is no need uh, to make it perfectly smooth so now uh, we can do the other leg so just like the other one uh, we can do it this also th three circles so I like it like that uh, okay uh, next we are going to do the other one here is it now the heart thorn Thor uh, when I say it it's just like thorn it's not uh, sounding like thorn so next we'll do the wings wings are easy uh, you could see and follow it so it's very easy now here we come to the uh, one end of the wing so I messed up in the last one now I have to erase it I made it large very large so we don't need it this large a little small wing uh, should be perfect so here we are going to draw the wings now we have to separate it and make a triangle put a line through the middle uh, like this so next we are going to draw some other lines uh, here now we can draw the next wing uh, just make sure that it is small not too large or not too small just enough you know so here we have the wings now uh, we'll do the same as before draw a triangle make a line through it and okay okay like this then draw some line inside it next uh, we are going to uh, do the bigger part of the wings so we have done the smaller part now the bigger part we should draw a line then we will uh, draw it like this <laughs> uh, just like this you could follow it one line in the smaller part of that 
then four lines in the other including the top line just like that we'll do it in the other end so let's do it So now we are done with the other end. Now we are going to draw the stinger part of the bee, which stings us every time it sits on us. So uh, now I have colored it. So So here I have the drawing. So now I'm going to color it. It will be much more beautiful than this. So uh, first I'm going to start with a brown color pencil pad. I'm taking uh, yeah, brown color pencil. So uh, first I'm going to color this part, then this part then this 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 and these parts are all over uh, then we can end it uh, the brown color will be used later it is very useful in this drawing so make sure you keep a dark and nice brown dark but not too dark just uh, first i recommend that you watch this whole video first then uh, you can start using the colors uh, or start sketching out so let's start our coloring so now i'm all done with the brown so next i'm going to be doing uh, the black so black i'm just going to do uh, with this these parts because it should be black uh, black uh, it is more important. I'm using oil pastels. Uh, oil pastels. Uh, it's Camelin's oil pastels, black color. So now let's. So now I have done this. Next is uh, this part. You can call it fur, bees fur, <laughs> or the bees fuzzy part. Anything. Just we need to do this part. So let's start. So now I'm going to take my white now. It's a little old. So uh, now I'm going to take my white now. And I'm just going to put it right here. You can see it. Now let's, I'm using my hand to just uh, give it a shade in which it shows that it's glowing. Let's do it everywhere. So it gives a little shape. Um, if we don't have a whitener also, it doesn't matter. Just use a uh, you can use uh, what? you can use a white pencil to just give it that shade now I'm using this oil pastels to just fill in the places which it went too far so here it didn't okay it's now uh, finished it's perfect so let me show you guys so this is the end of today's video you could add backgrounds to it uh, if you want you can add more effects to it so hope you like the video bye bye see you in the next video